Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Thrawn's Revenge. Um, we just dropped right in the middle of combat. Oh, that's right, because the last episode I ended with us being invaded and I think defending. And the only way you can save is if you actually start the battle. So, we are at Garros 4. We're engaging enemy forces with enemy a moderately small ahead. fleet. And it is a large enemy force. Lots of E-Wings coming in. Coming in hot. Let's get our arcs out there. We already know that they're pretty good at dogfighting. And we do have a couple of interceptors with this fleet. We need all combat vessels on the front line. Get up there. I guess the word is that the, the mod authors for this title. Let's go ahead and start this up. I have two interdictors in this fleet. Wow. All right, you stop them from moving and you be our missile defense. Don't chase. Don't chase. Don't go too far. Uh, they're actually working on making it so the AI fighters don't immediately go into hunt mode. That means they're going to keep their fighters clumped and actually use them in, in more of a meaningful manner, which is kind of scary, because you've seen what they can do when they finally focus on stuff, hence us losing our last, our first Bellator. I love the effect on this. Oh, man. The way that Rebels have portrayed the Interdictor, like how scary these things are for the Rebel fleet, it's so good. It's so good. I watch it, I'm constantly thinking about, whoa, you guys need to pull back. I feel like we could win this if we really, really wanted to. What are you guys firing at? Oh, you're, you're gonna start, you're gonna make an asteroid field up there. Okay, that's fine. They've only got one proper ship, but the rest of it is a metric butt ton of fighters, of fighter capability. So let's go ahead and engage. They're not gonna get away. And we're gonna chew up these fighters. We're going to give them nothing, but we plan on taking everything. Interceptors, do your job. Intercept something. Get it done. No E-Wing shall survive. All right, we have incoming Y-Wings, a huge squadron of them. We've got to get our forces out there. All fighters. I don't care about A-Wings. Engage those. Just get over here. Immediately, get over here. Oh, crap. This is going to be real bad. That is so many Y-Wings. We're starting to put fire that way. You can actually zoom in and see them. Come on, boys. Come on. You've got to intercept. Get them dogfighting you. There you go. Break up their formations. Lovely. I don't care if you're bombers. Interceptors, get in there. Chase them down. They could have, like, one shot at a victory class. Easy. We cannot allow this to happen. All right. You're getting chewed up. Fall back. Fall back. Now, that home one is actually starting to get a little close. And I'm okay with this. Start bringing it in. We've got plenty of firepower here to take you down. Can you fly this way? And give him give him some help. Well done. Now help that... Alright. Our fighters, they're in a nice clump. Another group of Y-Wings are right there. Well, let the victory classes take them down. All right, I hate to group you all up on a single A-Wing, but I need these A-Wings dead. Interceptors will do terrible damage to us. Well done. All right, here they come. They're in range now of the victory classes. They should be able to destroy. Good, you actually got into position. Fantastic. Put some fire on that. I don't want them getting too close to the victory class. They have pushed through. Their fighters have actually managed to push through. Group up. We've got Y-Wings coming in. Interceptors dispatched. Go, go, go. Break and engage those fighters. Bombers, I know, you're useless here. Go ahead and engage this. We're just about taking them down. This is the problem we're running into. We've got a huge number of E-Wings, and they're coming in through the asteroid belts. Come on, boys. Take out those E-Wings. Interceptors, follow me. Ah, oh, we may have to pull back. Oh, we still have shields. There's just so many. All right, chew up those Y-Wings. You guys can eat Y-Wings without issue. Now, chew up these Y-Wings. I just mix it up in the fleet. See, these are anti-missile. Like this guy's ability here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it off and move a little closer. But I don't think it affects torpedoes. Oh, that bolt cruiser. I wanted to build one of these, and now I've got one. All right, turn on your anti-missile defense field. I don't think it's going to matter here. We, we may have to pull back. We did take out that home one, right? You're shitting me. We actually failed to take that out. At the moment, we can still pull out. We don't have any other fighters, do we? Other than what's in this group right here, which is slowly being taken out. We didn't kill it. All right, victory classes. Are your shields still up? Navigating to 
Engage this ship. Before we retreat, we're going to take this ship out. You know what we can do? Let's give them the option to retreat. Shut down the interdiction field. And squeeze in closer to the rest of the fleet. Maybe the, uh, the combined arms here. Come on, victory class. I know you've taken damage. We've got to get those weapons in range. There, you're in firing range. Take it down. You're starting to take torpedoes. A group of Y-wings are bombarding you. It's all right, though. We'll be able to get you out of here as soon as you finish the job. What's its health at? It has no shields. It's starting to lose its last subsystems. Ready for battle. Fire. fire I want that kill, and then we'll fall back. You don't have engines, do you? I don't know if you can take the engines out on a bolt cruiser. It's cool that we've seen this. We've run into quite a few of these in the X3 Albion Prelude. Playthrough so far. Just massive haulers. All right, mission objective completed. It doesn't look like they want to retreat. And this group is going to cost us a lot of problems. Reporting in. I'm debating right now on if I want to fall back or not. Because they haven't engaged. They haven't come down on us yet. Oh, wait, they still have another ship. If we take out all of their support ships, we might be able to win this. Where's the other victory class? They're too far back there. Look, their missiles did peel off. You're kidding me. This does work? Let's see. Bombers are inbound. They fired. The bombs are all over the place. And they've missed. These totally screw up the tracking of the Y-Wings. Oh, man. I didn't know. I thought it was only the missile-based. Reinforcements have just arrived. Six more squadrons of Y-Wings. I still don't trust this. You need to be focused on taking out their support ships. And you need to, actually, you need to be focused on getting your ass back here. We're on our way. Come about. Come aboot. Look at all those missiles. Oh, they're, they're chewing up Y-Wings. I think the recharge is really slow on them, but there you go. You've come around. Your guns are now on him. The bolt cruiser's firing at him. Get underneath the, the, the protection of these interdictors. I thought... Ow, 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 ow. Shields are holding, but not for long. Get within range. Oh, it, it counted that as a win. Interesting. If you take out all of the, the, the support ships, they just lose 26 squadrons of Y-Wings. So, uh, for, for the record, there, there are a couple of ships that have just missiles, missile bombardment. Uh, the Victory Class is one of them, actually. Uh, it's one of their, like, other attack abilities. And I thought, I thought that's what the Interdictor stopped. It makes kind of like the Victory Class kind of useless if you've got one of those active. I didn't know it messed up the tracking on the Y-Wings. That changes a lot. Like, the, the fighters are strong, but to be able to, to, to just screw up the tracking on the torpedoes of a Y-Wing, that's pretty cool. Let's turn on all the stuff. Welcome back to the galactic map of Thrawn's Revenge. Um, we're actually doing really, really well. We've got the New Republic on the run. They only control a few systems to the north, with which we've blockaded quite a few of them. We do have a fleet at Transitory Mist. I need to order up... Beginning construction. I need to order up more interdictors. In That's why they're so expensive. Because they're they're nine thousand. They are comparable to. I can get three victory classes practically. Man, yeah, two and a half. I can get an ISD. It's over the cost of an ISD, but but ah, oh, that's so good. Vehicle also get a couple more. Um, Reporting. Actually, let's get you guys to the front line. Moving to get up here and help hold this front line. We have a major fleet out here already. We have a space battle. Komkin 5. Oh, you were already en route, weren't we? Yeah, we were. You don't have a fleet lead right now. Let's begin the battle. I guess I had sent them at the end of the last episode. I had dispatched them to head out. Sadly, there's nobody in command right now. I must have pulled them off, pulled them off to uh, blockade a planet or something. There's the fleet. Oh, yeah, this is the secular fleet with the Bellator. The now, I have an update. This is a texture bug. That's why it looks all kind of camo patterned. Um, I haven't been able to install it yet. I'm waiting for a, a message back from the dev. Remember, I'm playing a little bit uh, of an older version of this demo. So this should be fixed in the version you guys are playing. Uh, and this will be fixed probably by the time I get the next episode done. I'm also recording these kind of in bulk, getting ready for the Star Wars celebration in Orlando that I'm going to in a couple of days, uh, which is really exciting. Uh, I had so much fun at the last one. Launch all fighters, prepare for combat. Star Destroyer standing by. Star Destroyer standing by. All right, what I want to do is I want to position you here. Let's just move the whole fleet up. 
Feeling pretty good about this. Don't think it's gonna be a problem. A couple of squadrons to the north, a few defending the Golan platforms. So I got an interesting email. What? Oh, you come up as a, uh, a weird, a separatist command ship on the, on the radar. Very strange. I got an interesting email from the Sins of a Solar Empire developers, and this pertains to Star Wars, sort of. They are releasing an HD version, a, a HD, more modern version of Sins of a Solar Empire, and this is going to eliminate the memory issues, and it's adding 4K texture capability to the engine. How awesome is that? Because right now, Sins has an issue with uh, just memory issues, right? Like, the game was never designed to, to have the mods Star installed that it has, opinion. and it couldn't really handle higher-level textures. Well, now, look at all that fire! And shields are gone. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Bring the guns online. Open fire. Nice, nicely done. You'll be dead before we even get any other ships in range because of the massive fields of fire. So I'm really looking forward to what the modders are able to do with it now that it'll be able to run on you know, a 64-bit system is what it sounds like they're doing. I'm just gonna give TAC move orders. You guys seem like you've got this wrapped up. All ships engage. Because we just don't have enough. Oh, look at those X-Wings. We don't have enough real-time strategy titles. We really don't. I mean, we get maybe one, maybe two a year that are really half decent. Right? Like, what did we get last year? We got Homeworld. The ground-based Homeworld title. Let's get our fighters up. Carrier group. Like, move in down here. Engage. Also gonna dispatch all TIE Fighter squadrons down here. We don't need to lose an IST. I need to use him as bait. Anti-fighter support down here. Arcs! Let's go. Let's go. Come about. Get him off us. They're trying to retreat. Which is fine. Let him run. You're gonna run out of places to run eventually. There they go. You get Dawn of War though. Today, actually, today is the day we're getting Dawn of War three. Uh, the mul I'm getting access to the multiplayer beta, uh, so I'm recording this on the day that I streamed that. For any of you guys wondering, all right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six worlds left that the enemy are holding. That's not much. That's not much. Let's run through here with the ground invasion force that we've got built up, and we've got a new one as well. Let's group you guys together. Actually. IBV reporting. And location confirmed. Reporting. Reinforce these battle groups. Move up. Ground troops. Move up. Move up. We need you as one big group. Complete. You guys don't need to be mixed. Stack these two groups. You join up with this fleet. We're gonna invade Garos 4. We fought over it quite a few times. Where the hell is our, the rest of our ground troops? Right here, we have two ground armies. This one's a little depleted. Go ahead and join the, the group up top. What are you building right Awaiting now? Nothing. You're not building anything. Build me Constructing unit. a larger space force, or a larger uh, air force, since it's cheaper here. And you, you can keep your personal guard for now. Let's move these ground troops up. We have own all these, right? Yes, we do. So let's go to... We'll bring you guys here. You gents, join up with the fleet. Reporting in. Reporting in. You need a fleet lead. I'm gonna put this guy in lead. How are we doing on ground troops? Can we do the invasion? Kind of lacking in armor. There's no heavy armor in this group at all. Vehicle in production. Give me some heavy armor. I set up a place to build me heavy armor, didn't I? Now I'm totally forgetting where that was. You were an infantry producer. Look how fast you're gonna build infantry. Oh my goodness. Yes. Reporting. Reporting. 
No, it was light vehicles, and that was like down here. Reporting. You were my AT -AT light vehicle zero. production center. Reporting. reporting. This was my heavy production center. This is what it was. Yeah, you're gonna build that. You have, yep, there we go. That's why the ATATs are building so quickly. Uh, we actually have a group ready to go. Let's send you guys to reinforce our ground forces here, and then we can prep to begin the ground invasion. Uh, you gents are actually AT -AT already ready. good to go. I just want to get you some more infantry. How about five squads of rocket infantry? Awaiting your command. Awaiting Ready your command. Go. Join up with the fleet. Reporting in. Getting our ground troops ready. prepared for battle. Did I claim all these? I still haven't even captured these planets back here. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that with nothing but infantry. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we can auto resolve a couple of these back here, because they're they're old Imperial Remnant faction that we don't really need to battle over. Uh, ground troops. ready. Reporting. Where are we gonna send you? Ready to go. Massive ground armies. We're gonna send this group Reporting. here. You're useless standing there. Confirmed. Join the fleet. Construction complete. Reporting. And you boys begin your ground invasion of Garavan 7. And I didn't choose who your starting unit was. Damn. I wonder who that's going to be. Ready, sir. I can dig that. Interesting planet. Choose your reinforcements. Um, let's go with Hmm. Go with a squad to capture points, out. an air unit to run and capture them, and a commander to lead right the away. charge. Another support Enemy armored group. Ready for recon. Blow your Ready forces. To Prepare for combat. Awaiting destination. Scouts, Gearing up. find me there. the enemy location. A little bit of a freeze up there. Already picking up something. Looks like locals. Mustafarians. There they are. You Blast don't them. say. Uh, let's bring in some more heavy Enemy armor. Reporting. Load up. Lancet standing by. Engines activated. You're moving out to capture new points. Oh, good. Super active. Where's your buddy? Scanning the Might area. as well set an explosive. The enemy. No reason Scouting not to. Area. On the Tiny way. little bit of damage. Right away. Picking up a whole lot of nothing. A couple turbo laser towers. Love to find their shield generator. Moving out. What do we got? Up. Oh, turbo laser tower. Aerial artillery reporting. Drop those Ready reinforcements. All right, go pick up more troops while they lock this down. Split up, squad. Ready. The enemy could be here at any moment. We've secured a landing zone. Well done. Come on, let me build it. Let me build on it. Give me anti-tank, right? Turret okay. constructing. Yes, sir. Moving Defend out. that point. Advancing. Squad, move out. That will keep you alive. Wait a minute. Seriously? Yep. Squad. Turret constructing. Turret's almost online. Hold until the turret comes online. Just hang in there. You might want to take cover. Come on, come on, come online, come online. There we go. Backup is on the way. Just hold out a little longer. Entire armor division is coming in. Oh, oh! Because I want to take out this shield generator. So it's very important that we do so. Ground troops. Well done, boys. Let's bring in. Actually, at the ready. As you load you guys up. And we'll go take another point as the rest of the squad marches forward. Not too far, actually, just marched about right there and get into formation. As soon as these ground troops are down, we're gonna run over here and take out their shield generator. Yes, sir. So their turbo laser towers can't stop us as we march forward with the main. Yeah, armored force. You may start your approach. You I may start your approach. Active. We're rolling out. See, this is the problem I have. Ready. Half of you are in like this cool formation. Oh Half of God. you are rushing in like a bunch of assholes. Just saying. Well, good luck, gentlemen. Armor ready. Oh, I'm ready. Let's Move make sure there's nothing up here, and we'll start moving way. south. What have you found? 
Focus all your fire on the turbo tower. There you go, or on the turbo tower, on the anti-tank blaster dog. tower. Right. All right, looks like the north is clear. There's no pass through this mountain range. There's lava to the north, so that's not gonna happen. How many hover units can go through? Ah, oh, beautiful AT-ATs. Come down here and take out this civilian structure. You're full up. Head on over here. I'm bringing you armor for support. Good thing we took out that laser tower. See the fire, the lava in the background? It's cool. Roger that. Secure that point. Channel open. Can you guys get through it? You look really confused. Roger, what happened to your middle your middleman? Why are you guys so spread out? Going there now. <sighs> Goofy. Tank brigade ready. Tank brigade ready. Head, Head up here. See if there's any other buildings. You guys, how you doing? You taking it out? Building destroyed. Surviving rebel forces. That was it. That was the only production facility I had on the planet. Oh, that's right, because we fought over this planet multiple times. They haven't had time to really dig in, I don't think. One unit of Plex soldiers, that's it. All right, load it up. This time, I want the commander to hit the deck. I've put him down in every single invasion that we've done so far. So, no reason not to. Let's move up with the fleet. Constructing. Uh, where's the big ground Ready force that we just built? Complete. Are they still in route, or did they make it where they were going? Load up into your transports and get ready to move out. You're up here. Who's your ground invasion lead? Yeah, be a lat. Begin the invasion. Invasion's this one, invasion. they have held for quite some time. We've blockaded it for a while, but they've been able to build ground troops, so they probably max out their ground count. I'm expecting a bit of a fight. I think this is one of the smaller maps. Choose your reinforcements. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, give me some deployable troops. Give me another transport. A walker. And a group of ground troops. So we'll fly up here and capture this point quicker than a hurry. Actually, we'll fly down here and capture this one. We'll march the ATAT -AT up. I got me. Loaded. You just start marching forward. Auto attack anything that you come into range of. Affirmative, sir. Heading out. Scout bikes, just go as far as you can. Order acknowledged. Yes, Commander. Awaiting orders. Lancet proceeding. Go, 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 go. Rest of you, start walking. What did you find? A couple of turbo laser towers. The bikes did not make it through. Not Copy. surprising, really. Reporting. Deploy troops. Yes, sir. Get over the canopy and see Command if you can received. secure this. If I can lock them in, like we'll we'll land right here, deploy those heavy guns, yes, and see if we can. Go, go, go. Ready. Reporting. All right, spread it out, boys, just in case they've got right artillery. Out. Awaiting order. Ready. We secured a landing right away. zone. Yes, sir. We secured Actually, two a spread zone. out. Reporting in. Moving to that area, sir. Lancet standing by. We now have reinforcements that we can bring in. Dropping ATAT -AT assault All units. Destination set. Advancing. Go, go, go! This Pulling is like a straight-up invasion straight onto the enemy. Armored transport ready. Armored transport ready. Open fire on the turbo laser towers. I thought those rockets would come in handy. Nicely Heading done, on. boys. They're coming in! All right, men, you have to hold your position. Reporting in. Walker, moving Push forward, attack. walkers. Heavy guns. Heavy guns, open fire. There they go. The guns are opening fire. And so it begins. Now, we do have eyes on this. Whip your guns around. Can you get a shot on this? You can. Take it out. Hold your position. Don't move forward. We need to get your reinforcements. Load it up, boys. We're leaving. We're going right now. Fallout copy. Walkers move south. Did we take it out? We took out the shield generator. It's all about taking out the rest of the armor now. Move up. Ready for orders. Order 
Acknowledged. You guys load up. Don't don't do that. Let's move out. Oh That's come ready. on. Get yeah, in board. Get on board. Reporting. Now I yes, feel like a proper sir. empire. Right, like I can just throw expensive yes, units at the on. enemy. Walker moving out. Those rocket infantry don't screw around. Wish, We're pushing forward. Okay, fine. You really want to kill the turbo laser towers. Just get it done. Now we'll push it. Oh, uh, units. Begin your approach. Right now we're pushing with just rocket infantry and a turbo gunner. And it's getting work done. What do we got? Production facilities just south of here. Comlink active. Right away. Moving out. Get over here. Go, go, go! Order, sir. Give them covering fire, and where are those reinforcements? Go, go, go! Find a place to land them! None of you have rockets anyway, so you'd be totally useless. But I don't care, just get in there. Start fighting. Walker's go. Did we really lose that? Damn, we lost that. Um, there you go. Fight on, men! The walkers should be in range soon. Come on. Need those walkers in range. There you go. Alright, let's go ahead and take out their production facilities. Perspective of a, a single infantryman on the ground. <laughs> Beautiful. Reporting in. Let's go. Ready. What are we missing? Another walker. Get up here. Get up here. The Empire cannot be stopped. Um, but we are really slow. Come on, there's another structure here that needs to be taken down. I've always thought this is what Sins needs, you know, a proper ground invasion mechanic. We are victorious. Because I love the scale. Like, if they came out with a 64-bit version of Empire at War, the modders could just go to town with it. I mean, what they would be able to do, control achieved. the graphical quality would be just through the roof. They would go nuts. Complete. All right, we were going to try out a auto-resolve battle. Construction complete. We need a ton more infantry for this. Recruiting troops. Recruiting troops. Like a massive number of infantry. Enlisting troops. Ready to go. Troops. And we are going to try to auto resolve those areas in the north. Reporting. 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 Who, where do we want to reinforce? We'll just Reporting. give On these troops way, here. Sir. My, da my idea is that the auto resolve is just going to use the numbers, so this is Reporting. five points worth of infantry, and every ground troop at the moment costs is point one. Yeah, Reporting. one point in like Reporting. army strength. So if we just get enough of them, we should win the the auto resolve to the north. To I go. think. Enemy fleet, approaching. Enemy fleet. They mean they're actually building ground troops still. Where? Findar. Oh, they're attacking our our transports. You bastards! Begin battle. We're gonna have to pull them out of there. Or those nebulons have a chance to catch up to the uh, Lambda shuttles. Or the, the at AT ground transport shuttles. I don't know what those things are called. There they are. These guys right here. These and the Sentinels are there. Reporting. They're rocking. Time to run. Let's go, boys. The enemy has been spotted. Not waiting around to get shoot up. Oh, they're right there too. Crap. Comlink active. Retreat. Get out of there. And the next ones are just passing by. And we're away.
Looks like we're gonna have to move some ground troops up. Do we have enough ground troops to take this planet? No, not even close. All right, there's like a thousand infantry here. Let's grab them all up. We're gonna see if we can just pop these. At least one of them. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. How many troops do we have? 15, stack them. 21. Here is a small planet. This may go poorly. Would not be surprised. Let's start cutting off these worlds where they're attacking us from. So we're gonna move the fleet up from here. Who's in command of this fleet? Reporting. Nobody currently has Reporting. Uh, hyperspace priority. So actually, let's make it the Arquintons use those big engines to our advantage. Uh, let's just see, see what happens. Invasion commencing. You have lost the battle. All right, so we can't do that. We can't auto resolve with just ground troops. It's not gonna work. So there is some other calculation going on in the background. Good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and grab up a bunch more Enlisting. infantry now, because they are useful. Recruiting troops. They are useful Recruiting. at the very least to suck up damage Enlisting. from our turbo laser towers. It's sad, but it's true. And where are our ground troops Reporting. on this side? We had a fairly large Reporting. invasion force right Reporting. here. So we'll go ahead, take Levy in two, invasion start pushing commencing. in from both sides, begin battle. They do have artillery on this planet. Uh, on a map I don't believe we've ever played on before. Interesting looking map. Choose your reinforcements. Choose your reinforcements. Well, we're going oh, to grab knowledge. up. Oh, your starting unit is free. I just noticed that. Enemy I was unaware. Heading out. Enemy base shields are online. At maximum unit capacity. We're gonna walk our armored unit straight up the center. We're gonna load up some ground troops into our uh, atmospheric transport. I copy. Follow my lead. And start moving troops around. Reporting. Moving to position. Hold here. I just I just want him to catch up to you. You need that heavy fire. Yes, sir. Alright, boys, load it up. Yes, sir. Engines activated. Let's go. Receiving orders. We're gonna secure this landing point. Reporting. Reporting. Provide necessary backup. Enemy unit sighted. You men take the plan. Oh shit, this is why I wanted you guys as a group. Take out the bunker. It's a bunker full of rocket infantry. Take out any stragglers. Nothing survives. Oh no! Follow my lead. I love these yes, guys. <laughs> Some of the clone war attack is just yes, ah, it's so good. On your scanners. Acknowledged. Transfer Excellent suggestion. I You've made it, good. Drop troops. As you wish. Roger. Now they do have artillery, we have confirmed this, so I'm a little concerned about Ready. that. Spread it out. Lancet standing by. What in the world? Human dwellings. Scout troop Ground reporting. troops, let's roll. Let's I need you out. up the center. Support order For the most calling. part. Get like half your squad. No, like half your reporting squad. In. We're gonna send a three-man team, four-man team, to the other reinforcement point. Good, we can bring in reinforcements. Order let's bring in a bunch of sheep way. ground units Inputting coordinates. to push through. Out. Aerial artillery reporting. Squadron moving out. Yes, Commander. Destination is acknowledged. Uh, we're looking good. Let's push forward. I am on route. We're going right for the enemy base. Roger that. What Let's defenses go. do they have? Make a run for it. Speeder bikes. You're in the shield. Good. You actually made it inside the shield generator. Keep going. We've Drop explosives. Did they just run over you? I didn't know you could run over speeder bikes. That's a thing, yes, I Commander. guess. Don't let him fire. Priority target, right there. Let's go. We're gonna split two of you off. You're gonna go after his partner. They always come in pairs. Ground troops. Load up. Ready to go. You guys still dropping armor off? You are. Always ready, sir. Let's go. Scouting. This is a really defensible base. The shield generator's inside the shield. That's fairly rare. Don't fire at that. You're just asking to be artillery strike to the face. Let's go. You need to locate and Keep destroy going. that. I need more scouts. We've got to find their Four air up. units. You're chasing him. Good. There's your orders. Take it out. Nicely done. This way. Affirmative. Over there. You found that artillery unit. Take Open out the shield. Well done. Enemy mine. Less Enemy concerned about. There. There's your target. Don't let him fire. On my Good. Way. Ground troops have made it. Are there any civilian or rebel survivors? New Republic survivors? No, there were not. 
area is ours. Where's our scouts? T-16s. Find us the last targets. I think this might be it, actually. Who fired us? No structures to the north. Wait, I was wrong. There's a mining facility right here. Ready our closest orders. unit proceeding. Command received. We'll back is some up. infantry, actually. Over there. Channel open. Going there now. Go up here. Moving to position. Take out this base. Form up. Awaiting orders. On the move. Scouting I've got a area. bunker right here that Let's just go. needs to be dealt with. At the ready. Ready to receive orders. Play the ground troops. Should only take a few minutes for you guys to handle. Take it out! So, their income has to be next to nothing now. We've taken out another one of their mining facilities. They've got maybe, what, eight planets left? Gonna speed up time, order all units, take out this bunker. What? They still have units? Scouts? Find the last enemy unit. Make sure it's not this corner. You guys. Oh, you're stuck, aren't you? Tuscans? Civilians. Kind of like a mountainside base there. Reporting. They've got to have like one unit left. Copy. Right away. Split this force up. See, they're moving together. Roger that. Right away. Nothing here. Head north. There must be a bunker somewhere or maybe a single like production Reporting. facility. Form up. T-16s, you're the fastest scout that I have. Come up here. Check this corner. Maybe we forgot something. Awaiting order. Our lat's Getting not picking out. anything up. Whatever we That's find, we can just ahead. bomb. There it is. All right. Yes, Bring in the TIE bombers from the fleet. Finish the job. Run. Chasing the New Republic out of another system. The enemy has been defeated. Woohoo! It's too bad heroes don't get experience. Planetary control achieved. Because I was thinking, like, this guy has been in so many battles. And having played Stellaris so much recently, it's like, I like that my, my leadership actually gets experience. And I can name my Reporting. leadership, which is pretty cool. Reporting. All right, Space Fleet, group up here. Take the support with you. Group up. We're going to be moving up to the next planet um, to take over. Reporting. It's time to crush them. Strike. Strike now. There's no fleet there. Whoa! Enemy fleet has been discovered at uh, Kalanon. I cannot choose where I hyperspace in at. <sighs> okay. What do they have? There's our Quintons. I'm gonna hyperspace on top of them, unless it's something really impressive. What are your orders? It looks like a huge fleet of fighters, and we've got unidentified ships about to enter the Choose system. We'll destroy them before those fleets get here. Uh, it's a lot of fighters. We do have a little bit of anti-fighter support. Not a whole bunch. I need to be careful how I do this. Come on, Look give me a sensor sweep. Them. All right, we can see everything that's going on. Let's grab a single We're tanky ship out. and a lot of anti-fighter support because we know the fighters right are on their way. Moving out. And we're going to use this forward. guy. A couple of the old Star Destroyers. These are going to be our anti-bomber. This is what's going to keep us alive, I think. So, turn that on. We need the, the missile support of our victory classes, our crimson victory classes, if I can just find a spot for them. You guys need to turn around. That starbase has to die quickly. Get your bombers in range. They're starting to actually take out our shield, and that's not going to work for me. Oh, we could bring in the Grand Admiral. He wants to be part of the victory. A little bit more support. Well done, fighters. Get in there. Awaiting orders. Get these victories turned around. Like, look at these old Star Destroyers. They're pretty cool. Kind of stubby. But I like it. All right, here they come. Make sure you guys are nice and close to the interdictor. Awaiting command. 
I was hoping they might retreat if we took out the stations. That is a lot. All right, victory. Come back, come back, come back. I'm like, where can I put a sacrificial ISD? Oh, his shields are down. So many bombers in route right now. All right, bomber squadrons, go after this. Star Destroyers start firing at it. I'm hoping they might retreat if we do this. This is going to be really thick with fighters. Um, yeah, it, the field range on this ability is not very large. Even our Quentin's starting to take a little too much damage. Hmm. Keep launching your fighters and help them out. I have orders for you. That means you're gonna have to get farther away from the fleet. There's that other fleet that just arrived. That's it. I mean, I like that they came in with a bunch of Carricks. And Lancer frigates. Maybe they can help us out, but we need to take this out. Come on, Star Destroyer. Take out that Golan platform. You ships with a lot of damage, get on the other side of the interdictor. It's our only hope. I could bring in more ships. I could bring in more Star Destroyers and pop out more fighters. Maybe worth it. Oh good, their fighters are focusing on the guys coming in from the north and they've got a considerable amount of anti-fighter weapons. Fast firing, you can see them. Cannons. Large group of bombers coming in. Where's my fighter support? Give me another couple of victory classes. Let's use those rockets. And their golden platform is down. Are they still not going to retreat? I've chewed up their fighters. Turn the battle group around. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> As we come around with all that firepower. Except for you, you just stay right where you are, Quentins. You're perfectly Canada. fine there. Bombers at the ready. At We're not gonna the sit here and morning. wait. We're going to kill them all. I could bring in a couple more. Oh no, I maxed out. Do you have something to report? Uh, no. No, we're actually doing pretty well. I see. We'll swing in from the south. May have to work on this formation if we get caught out again. I don't think you're gonna hit these Y-Wings. Good luck, though. Come on. How have you not taken out with all of these fighters? How have you not taken, you're taking out your shields. Okay, they are gonna take you out. They're working on it. This is the perfect time to strike. Do not go north. We're moving out. No, do not separate from the fleet like that. We need them to come in. Where is our, oh God, no, 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 no. You need to be with the fleet. Get over here, quick. You're imperative to the survival of the fleet right now. Get over to the fight. Enemy fighters are starting to come within range. I'm just hoping that the crossfire is so insane from this many this many ships that they start popping fighters left and right. Part of me wishes that they had some type of counter. So you knew how well your fleet was doing. Kind of like, think about Total War, how they do it. And you have like a morale of the fleet. So as a battle does really well, or it's doing really poorly, you can kind of see, all right, I'm, I'm starting to lose. I lost a hero, my morale has dropped. Like, ah, there's so many good mechanics that they could implement in a new Empire at War that would just fit. All right, that's another fleet down for them. Let's leave a... Star Destroyer Enemy behind. Really? Where? Tactical battle imminent. Did I leave? Oh, I left you behind. I left. I left the ground troops behind. They were going to invade that planet, and I didn't start the invasion fast enough. You can't wait around on that stuff. You got to get in there. <laughs> Look at all these shuttles. <laughs> You turn! 
We're leaving. We are leaving. Barge reporting in. Inbound. Full retreat. You can see the the rebel ship in the background. Nope. And you can see all the fighters barely, like a couple of pixels. Preparing for jump to light speed. Jump to hyperspace. Quickly, please. I don't know why one of you has decided to hyperspace away from the same direction the rest of the fleet is going. Ugh. All right, Indeed. head on back. I knew you would say that. Auto resolve it. We took out one of their home one types. Uh, let's move the rest of the fleets in. Right away. Capture a couple of planets back here. Reporting. Uh, and let's stop messing around. Let's actually start taking these worlds. What do we have going on? We have a actual battle at this asteroid belt. Okay, begin the fight. Kind of playing leapfrog with my two Super Star Destroyers. My Bellators. Be in the battle. Incoming! So what do they have? The majority... Full speed. Oh, it's just Golan platforms and a large group of fighters. Oh, that's not that bad. I copy. Report. Keep moving the fleet out. Launch all fighters. By. Star Destroyer reporting in. Yes, Commander. Group it up. Move out. Get you guys in range. It's going to take a minute because that our capital ship is so slow. Still launching fighters. Five squadrons of TIE fighters. We do have a few V-19s. We shall be, be really shortly. useful. I just want you guys to form up within range of the Bellator's firing capability. Oh, that frame rate when you zoom out. We can bombard them. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I had to turn the music down, so it's just lightly playing the Imperial theme. Alright, fighters engage. These are the ones that are kind of baited out. Get back to the fleet, Arquintons. I like where your head's at, but get back into the fleet. Watch the crossfire. Pop them up. Gotcha. Good job. Going for the lasers. All right, here we go. I'm giving Please attack move orders course. to the fleet. People, I think, underestimate how good the cinematic mode is in this. Because there's no other strategy game that I can think of off the top of my head, correct me if I'm wrong, that had this function that realized that it wasn't just, oh, you get to command these ships, but it was being able to actually like zoom in to the battle level and see it in a cinematic way. That was what brought a lot of the fun to this and kind of telling your own story. I feel like that's, Dawn of War 3 is probably really missing out on that because you can't zoom in anymore um, down to like the unit level. They, they took that out. That's not a thing you can do. It's like, you're... It's, it's another rich universe that people want to like see these units, they want to see the battles that are going on. Part of the fun is the narrative that's going on in your head. I think that's the best part about 4X strategy games like Stellaris. It's that narrative that you've got constantly going. And to remove one of the tools for players to experience that, which is the cinematic camera, or even the ability to zoom into the unit like eye level, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. System Complete and utter machine. destruction of the New Republic forces and the Segela system is has been accomplished. We now actually own this system. Nice. That leaves with a couple more planets of theirs. I think the next episode, I'm probably going to do an extended one and maybe finish it up. I mean, all we've got is a couple invasions left. And I'm thinking Dothamir may be their last, like... Yeah, it's their last holdout. It's their last proper base. They've got a, uh, a level three space station there, so they're able to actually build proper units. This is where they're getting their home ones. 
we're going to go in there and wreck face. So here's what I want to know from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see the last invasions? Or do you want me to try to like auto-resolve the majority of them? Do you want me to get to that end game screen? Or do you want me to just call this a victory after we take these last few planets? I enjoy the space battles. The ground battles can be a little bit grindy. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, we've gone so far. I do want to see that victory screen. So it might be just a bunch of, like, build up a large ground force and auto rose off some of these battles that we don't want to fight and then fight the proper space battles and then leave this one for the very last epic, like, grab all the ships and go in, guns a-blazing. Uh, it should be fun. So, all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more my modding, modding, modding sci-fi gaming goodness, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.